Hey guys, Armagon here today at Wolverine Supplies and we're doing a fun video because they have most of the guns here that I was looking for to complete my list of the top five guns I would put in the next John Wick movie. Also, it's a plus one and I'll include a couple alternates as well that are just as cool, but maybe I didn't have them type thing. Kicking things off for his main carry gun, I think we've got to go with the Luago Arms Alien. Pretty much haven't seen anything quite like this. It is unbelievably cool. For something with a little more substance though, I would pick this, the B&T USW with all the slots filled. You got the 30 round extendo magazine. We got a flashlight. We've got a suppressor, a red dot sight and a shoulder stock. This thing is just unreal cool. Clear and uh, has a really nice trigger. USW stands for a universal service weapon. And I think this would serve Joan well in uh, a multitude of roles. Also, again, just super sexy. Next up, PDW, which is kind of in the same territory as that, and I don't have one here yet. Holding out for my buddy Richard the Real Deal Movie Arms to uh, loan me one, but it is the MP7, which I have had the pleasure of getting some hands-on experience with and shooting at Battlefield Vegas. It was wildly cool. The P90 gives it a run for its money, in my opinion, but the MP7s are so cool. But by the time you throw a suppressor on there, it is both long and the suppressor is it's gonna be pretty loud because it's still supersonic. So enter the Bullet Hose 2021 edition. This is the spicy SPC special purpose carbine from B&T. Now, what's also cool is this is a shorty with the super sexy PDW stock. And the coolest thing is this is the SD, the integrally suppressed, which means The can comes off, but it's extra long because it goes all the way back in here. And if you can see it, you can see holes drilled in the barrel. And that means the barrel is ported. And what that does is it decreases the velocity of otherwise supersonic ammunition. It makes it subsonic, basically whisper quiet. Super slick and available in full auto. And for a shotgun, there can be no other choice than the Origin 12 from Fostech. This thing is incredibly insane and it's dubbed the fastest semi-automatic shotgun on the market today. Then we need to start talking rifles. Now the AUG, the new AUG A3 with a little shorty commando barrel, that would be pretty darn cool. But for my pick, I'm going with this unit up here, which you've seen on my channel before for years because of how freaking cool it is. This is an AR-15 or better yet an M4 because, uh, yeah, fake ammo, real gun. And apart from being a M4, it is freaking belt fed, which is unbelievably cool. Basically a saw and an AR and a baby and it turned out to look better than either the parents combined. Features quick change barrel and a bunch of other cool stuff. More on this gun on my channel for more details. But yeah, that thing's, uh, thing's got some balls. And finally the bonus one, because you know there's gonna be a sniper scene. How about this unit? which you literally put together out of a briefcase. It's in 300 blackout, which is cool to begin with. Plus it's integrally suppressed. So it's secret scroll quiet. This is a very cool gun. And I would substitute in the Q mini fix because well, it's a Q mini fix and it just MF and rocks. Anyways, guys, that's my list. Those are my picks for the next John Wick movie. Comment below what your picks would be. And let me know some other cool ideas you'd like to see on my channel for top fives. Again, special thanks to Wolverine Supplies for inviting me to play with all their toys. No, this was not a B&T ad. Wolverine Supplies just happens to have a bunch and I think they're really cool. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Armored Gun, out.